Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So this appears to be an ongoing series for me now, debunking the bogus dietary information out there about how some particular diet offers you special protection against COVID-19. In my video last week, I showed how carnivore psychiatrist Dr. Saladino's claims about eating an all-meat diet protecting people from coronavirus is just completely bogus. There's no scientific basis for that whatsoever, no studies showing anything of the sort. And this week I'm going to show you here on the opposite side of the spectrum, you have people who are saying eating a diet completely of raw fruits and vegetables will protect you from COVID-19. So the folks that run the Woodstock Fruit Festival posted this on their blog a couple days ago, the top five tips on boosting your immune system and spirit in face of the coronavirus. I'm going, are they saying what I think they're saying here? And I scroll down, it says, so what can you do to protect yourself from coronavirus? Many of you are playing an important role in creating a healthy world simply by being vegan, but it doesn't stop there. We're committed to spreading the message of how a fruit-based lifestyle is the absolute best thing, all in bold, that we can do for the health of ourselves and the planet. Well, I don't disagree with everything that they said there. You guys know I'm vegan, and of course I believe in the healthful benefits of having a diet of whole food plants. And I don't disagree with raw foods in principle. In fact, today that's pretty much all I've had. I had my banana smoothie, and for lunch I had this beautiful salad that my talented wife Angie made me. But with that being said, there's absolutely zero scientific evidence. We're talking about peer-reviewed studies published in scientific journals that show what they're claiming here, that eating a fruit-based diet, they're making two claims, that a fruit-based diet is the best for our health, and secondly, that eating a fruit-based diet offers some kind of protection, that's their word, protection from COVID-19. And don't get me wrong, I, as a vegan, understand the healthful benefits of eating a whole food plant-based diet, and I can post some studies here that show the immune boost that one gets from eating a lot of plants. However, it would be just plain wrong and irresponsible to say that, hey, just go vegan and you'll avoid COVID-19. Also on this Woodstock Fruit Festival page, they included a video from one of their presenters, Chris Kendall. You know, with what's going on and also the Woodstock Fruit Festival crew reached out to me and asked to make a video on this topic. I figured, you know what, I'm going to be here for the community to share what I've learned. Before going any further, I want to say I like Chris Kendall. We've met him several times. I've skateboarded with him. Cool guy. Let's see what he has to say. So I want to go into this topic, share my top five tips for bolstering your immune system and preventing or helping out to the absolute best of your ability with COVID-19. All right, so let me stop Chris right here because he said the word preventing, and that's a really dangerous word to use if you have no foundation, any kind of scientific backing to support that claim because there's absolutely no science showing that eating any kind of diet, vegan, raw, or otherwise, prevents COVID-19. Tip number one is to eat a wide array of nutrient-dense, fresh, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables. So look, I'm sure Chris means well here. He's not intentionally trying to harm people or give them bad information. And on the face of it, the information is pretty good that eating fruits and vegetables is good for our health. But it's a bit naive for Chris or any other of these fruitarians to expect that their raw vegan diet gives people some kind of protective advantage over getting COVID-19. There's absolutely no science supporting this belief whatsoever. So you can't just assume that you're gonna be safe from getting COVID-19 if you're vegan or a raw fruitarian. And I was wondering why they pushed Chris, like he said in the beginning here, that the Woodstock people encouraged him to make this video. Well, I went to look at Michael Arnstein's Instagram. He's the founder of the Woodstock Fruit Festival. And he too has this belief that he can't get COVID-19 because he eats so much fruit. And here's Mike wandering the deserted streets of New York City, which has the most cases and deaths of COVID-19 in our country. And he says, fruit is the future of health insurance. NYC is a ghost town, this is surreal. But the fruit guy, him, is out there. And because of that, I'm feeling safe and sound. Health is wealth. And I had to show this comment he got here. You don't stay inside for yourself. You stay in so you don't carry the virus to others who cannot fight it off, sheesh. 
And that comment is so true and shows why this virus spreads so easily and rapidly because people can show no symptoms for four or five days and be walking around thinking they're healthy, spreading the virus to others and potentially kill someone else. But anyway, Michael says he feels absolutely safe and sound, his own words, because he's eating so much fruit. So he feels like he's safe, has no fears, and feels very protected. Well, this reminds me a lot like of what happened in my last video, how the carnivore doctor who didn't eat all fruit he ate all meat and he said pretty much the same thing how he says I am doctor he forgot to have a complete grammatical sentence there and he said he feels no fear about coronavirus so they couldn't be further apart. One guy saying eat nothing but raw fruits and vegetables, and the other saying eat nothing but meat. And somehow these diets are supposed to protect you from COVID-19. You can walk out into the world fearless as these guys both do. Well, let's see what they have in common. And that's that they neither of them have a shred of scientific support, no peer-reviewed studies showing that their diet that they're claiming protects you from COVID-19 will indeed do so. They are devoid of any scientific backing for their claims. And again, this is dangerous information to give people. You can give people a sense of confidence that they shouldn't justifiably have because there's no support for having that confidence going out into the world and believing that you're safe from getting COVID-19. I also want to say shame on Michael. He's there in New York, the epicenter of the pandemic outbreak here. And already in this early stage of the outbreak, New York's hospitals are already hitting a tipping point of being overwhelmed with patients coming in with COVID-19 symptoms and they're hospitalizing a surprising number of younger people. I also found it a bit disturbing and out of touch with science that Michael Arnstein in this Instagram post is encouraging people that we need to get back to work now. Hashtag get back to work. I mean, it's just completely disregarding how a pandemic can spread, how we need to flatten the curve in order to not overwhelm our limited healthcare system. But let's move on. I don't want to seem like I'm picking on the Woodstock fruit people too much. There's other raw fruitarians saying the same thing. The body's designed to help to get that out. If you were eating a raw food diet, if you were on a fruititarian, or at least a half fruit, half vegetable diet, raw, you, Crona, would, you wouldn't even know you got it. Matter of fact, Crona would go in, Crona would go out. So once again, absolutely zero scientific evidence showing that if you're on a raw or fruitarian diet, that Crona would go in and Crona would go right back out. So instead of listening to the advice of these people that have no science to support what they're saying about what would protect you from COVID-19, I encourage people to listen to the advice of health professionals, the Center for Disease Control, the World Health Organization, groups like that. And none of their recommendations involve eating a certain kind of diet. This is serious business. If you go out mistakenly believing that you are safe from getting COVID-19, the results could be fatal. And this is sobering. As I was filming this video here today, I got an email from our mayor of Long Beach and to um, inform us that we had our first casualty, our first death from COVID-19, a woman in her 50s. And we already have 21 positive cases and they're monitoring another approximately 190 other cases because we just don't have enough testing capability right now. So let me know down below in the questions and comments what you guys are doing to try to stay healthy and avoid getting COVID-19. If you'd like to see what we're doing, just watch our latest vlog from about a day and a half ago. I'll put a link to it down below and at the end card and you can see what we're doing at home to stay healthy. We're following all the best practices. We're not doing anything foolish. So let us know what you're doing and let me know what you think about people making claims about how to prevent COVID-19, yet these claims don't have any scientific support. Should people be more careful and responsible and think twice and maybe not make such types of videos? Well, I hope that's another, no, 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 another email from our mayor. I'll check that out in a second. Anyway, so hit the, um, hit the like up above if you like this video, share it, and remember guys, let's just stay vegan. round